Get ready to make a pen and pencil holder. Hi, Marie here. Welcome to Pottery Crafters. You found video number nine in our Pottery Wheel project series. Today you're going to learn how to throw, decorate, and glaze a pen and pencil holder. And yes, you'll see the finished piece. If you like what you see, like the video. And if you want to support me or see new videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get a notification whenever I upload a video. Before I get started, here's a list of tools and supplies I use to make the pen and pencil holder, which will also be down below in the show notes along with any other important information I may talk about throughout the video. The tools and supplies listed are only recommendations and are items I use on a daily basis. I'll be starting with the clay already centered, so if you're having any problem centering your clay, you can check out the video up above. With that said, enjoy the video and make sure you stay to the end to see the finished piece. Let's get started. I'm using a pound of Amico Stoneware 46 buff clay to make the pen and pencil holder. After opening the clay, you'll want to check the thickness of the bottom with a needle tool. Make sure you have at least a third of an inch of clay. You want the holder to have a little weight on the bottom so the pen and pencils don't tip over. Start pulling up the walls. Whenever possible, place your inside thumb on your outside hand to help keep the sides even throughout your piece. I usually rest my left thumb on my right thumb. Don't forget to compress the rim and the bottom. This is how a beginner pulls up a cylinder, pulling up small amounts of clay at a time. If the rim starts to flare out, cone it in slowly with both hands, making sure your hands are wet. I'm using a soft, red rib to smooth over the holder, then getting the extra slip off with the metal scraper. After putting a double-edged foot on with the ultimate edger, I'm setting the holder aside to get leather hard. After it's leather hard, I'm making a pattern with the Clay Explorer roller. Make sure you're supporting on the inside with your free hand. Once I have the desired pattern, I'm using the ribbon tool to make a few definitions in the middle, bottom, and top of the holder. Thank you. 
Once it's bone dry, into my scut kiln it goes for a bisque firing at cone 04. After the bisque fire, wipe the holder with the damp sponge to get any dust or other particles off that may have settled on the piece from the firing. Apply wax resist to get any unwanted glaze off your holder. When the holder is dry, it's time for some glaze. After the first coat is dry, I'm applying the second coat. Load up your brush and float a third coat of glaze on. This glaze is on the thinner side, so I'm going to apply a fourth coat. Once the glaze is totally dry, I wipe any glaze off the bottom and place it in my scut kiln for a final firing at cone 5. Let's see how it turned out. Here's the finished pen and pencil holder. I like how the design came through. I also like the snow and deep sienna speckle. That was a nice combination. It almost looks like leather. I think it has a nice height for the pen and pencils. If you have any questions, comments, or even ideas for future videos, feel free to post those in the comments section below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Also in the comments section are more show notes and pottery making info. I hope you've learned a thing or two to make your own pen and pencil holder. Check out my other videos from Pottery Crafters. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when a new video comes out. I'll see you in the next video.